if a poor girl village girl is married to a very rich royal family and becomes queen she will never bother about that small small issues like she has to get up in the early morning and go to temple for royal worship she will never bother because she knows what this life has added to her she will never bother about doing morning yoga or morning puja please understand in all hindu kingdoms the royal family has to attend to morning worship which is always on brahma mukhurt always on brahma mukhurtam brahma mukhurt means 4:30 to 6 there will be royal worship which of course includes pranayama and everything you are supposed to be doing the pranayama and then bodha suddhi bodha means the space inside that that space inside need to be purified with the right visualization that is called bodha suddhi and then a very powerful chanting san i have personally seen trivandrum raja doing that royal worship every day what a sincere being i'll call trivandrum raja more as a saint than as a king i have seen his personal life and he is one of the most sincere being i have seen such devotion to padmanabha swami i still remember young age maybe less than 15 once i was taken to tanjore temple my elders who took me to the tanjore temple i asked them seeing the temple tata இந்த மாதிரி இப்போ கட்டுறதுக்கு ஆள் இருக்காங்களா தாத்தா இ லாஃப்ட் அண்ட் செட் இதை மெயின்டைன் பண்ணுறதுக்கே ஆள் இல்லைடா ஐ ஆஸ்ட் சீங் த தஞ்சூர் டெம்பிள் தட் இஸ் தேர் பீப்புள் டு பில்ட் டெம்பிள் லைக் திஸ் இந்த மாடர்ன் டே இந்த நவடேஸ் இ செட் ஈவன் டு மெயின்டைன் வி டோன்ட் ஹேவ் அ பீப்புள் வாட் ஆர் யூ டாக்கிங் அபவுட் கன்ஸ்ட்ரக்டிங் தென் இ asked me in a very funny way jovial way that edukda kekkara nee katta poriya why are you asking are you going to build i said in tamil namma sannidhanathatta solli namma madak indha mari oru kovil kattanum tata i told that let's tell our sannidhanam our our sannidhanam means that time that 230 sannidhanam was alive tonde mandala adinam sannidhanam we refer only him as our sanidhanam namma sanidhanathile solli inda mari namma oru koil kattan tata he just smiled and kept quiet left it means i told that we should tell our sanidhanam to build like this one temple for our mat 230th guru maha sanidhanam was alive at the time he only initiated me and trained me and he was very sincere about that i should become his successor he used to tell that i am waiting for him to become 18 he was waiting for me to become 18 major so he can hand over the responsibility and rest in jiva samadhi achieve jiva samadhi and go back to kailasa he was a great yogi and he was master of this yogic sciences great yogi and even 291 sanidhanam madurai sanidhanam was a master and adept in that sciences related to higher lokas he was able to talk to all those beings who left the body who are in a different lokas like pitruloka tapoloka suvarloka kailasa he will talk to all of them 
and he has written multiple books about it i'll revive all of it and i'll talk about our sanidhanam 291st sanidhanam also <laughs> i'll give some satsang very detailed way his amazing knowledge and intelligence on the higher time zones and higher space zones the 230 was 230 of tondai mandala adinam he was very sincere and he was very sincere in grooming me also then my grandfather went and told the sanidhanam that this fellow was asking mentioning about me this fellow was asking my grandson was asking he wants to tell you and then build temple like tanjur temple for our mat seems the sanidhanam started having bliss tears in his eyes and said avan kattu ampa paaka naama irukkonum illa he made a statement he will build but we should be there to see na it's like a, will we be there to see that is the meaning same way when i was taken to guruvayur and tiruvanandapuram patmanabha swami temple the way the temple was running that guruvayur temple night they do something called sriveli utsavam the whole temple will be lit maybe 100000 lamps ghee lamps and patmanabh swami temple the way it was clean and the tradition was respected only with the dhoti you can enter no upper cloth and the way it was maintained the way it was running the sanctity vibrant sanctity gosh <laughs> when i went and stayed in the palace i understood the amount of time and energy and dedication raja puts for running the patmanabha swami temple um, we have photographs of me visiting trivandrum as a child also as a kid also we have photograph me with my parents standing in front of patmanabha swami temple and of course now after the public life king has personally invited and i went and stayed in palace for few days extremely humble being see i am sitting on the throne he is sitting on the plastic chair extremely humble being and devoted being and sincere respect to the tradition and sincerity 